Hi, welcome to my painting uh, lesson today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a little bunny rabbit um, and I'm going to be using my abstract realist style. Uh, my abstract realist style is essentially um, it's a mix between realism and abstraction. Um, you'll be able to see that it's a rabbit by the end of the painting but also I'm going to be using some bold strong brush strokes um, and some fairly vibrant colours um, but try to keep it still within the remit of, of realism but have enough elements to it that it's, it breaks the picture apart and becomes more interesting than just a straight realistic painting. So let's start um, painting essentially a little baby bunny rabbit because I think that'll look nice and first things first I'm mixing some paint on, on my on my palette here. Now I use another canvas as a palette because I find it, it works nicely and I only use the three primary colours because I find they're the best for getting uh, the colour shades you need. Um, the three primaries as I probably stated in other videos are the pure points of colour that you can get um, they're the only real colours that exist and through them you can create every other colour um, on the planet or, or the universe for that matter. Um, so here we go, I'm going to mix them together now you'll find if you mix all three primaries together uh, you'll get a brown or essentially if you mix them exactly enough you'll get a black and how you mix them determines what kind of brown you're going to get. Now I need fairly dark brown for some of this so what I'm going to do is, is darken in some of the areas here. Now this area here is going to be the front of the rabbit's fur and I'm just putting those in quite roughly. Now as you see the background I've already put in a base coat. Uh, I've used a sort of a neutral um, neutral shade so that um, it wouldn't um, it, I can work up up and down from it and by up and down what I'm, I essentially mean is I can get darker and I can get lighter. Now, some dark areas here now, this is going to be somewhere around can be sort of blades of grass in here, or at least the impression of, of such. Now, this abstract realist style is, is semi impressionistic. Um, it uses, for me personally, I use um, quite large brushes that produce a squared effect. Now, the background is essentially grass, like sort of a greeny grass, but I'm actually going to be painting it quite yellow because. Um, when light hits grass it quite often looks uh, quite bright so let's let's see what I can do with this it's going to be sort of browny yellowy green color yeah, I think I like I think I like that that's like nice on the on the, the palette there okay so just some general just going to fill in generally around the back here it's probably not yellow enough actually let's see let's put some more in Yeah. At the moment, it's just getting the colour onto the canvas really. Uh, I've got some idea where I want the rabbit's ears, which is sort of around here. So I'm going to mark those down uh, around the back of the head here somewhere. I think it'll sort of end around about here, but essentially right now I'm just trying to get the canvas covered in a nice tone of paint here. Now I'm probably going to make a sort of a white area around the rabbit uh, because the light's coming quite a bit from behind. I'll just fill this in for you. Okay, as you can see, um, what I've done is I've filled in the whole canvas with a essentially a wash of colour and got in the general areas that I want everything to be in. So you can already see there's a bunny shape on the canvas filled in here and that's going to make a nice strong painting when we're done. Now, as you'll notice I haven't used green so much for the grass as a yellow. Um, there is a little bit of green in here because obviously grass is green uh, in our perception, but actually in in reality a lot of that, that greenness is is, uh, is muted by sunlight which quite often turns it a little yellow and certainly in this case um, I wanted to get 
a more a more yellow feeling to it. Uh, these darker areas here will be the gaps between the grass when I've finished. And as you see, I've already started putting some sort of uh, the grass streaks across the rabbit because they're going to break into the picture later. And I'm going to do this with pretty much this straight edge of the brush like this. Okay, but I want to make these darker areas darker in a bit, but because of the way the, the paint works, uh, you have to be very careful because it will just start merging into itself and getting, well actually what's well, quite a nice effect to be fair, I'm going to break some of this up because I want to make sure that I don't get too too detailed too early, there you go, so just break that up. Okay, might even break into the, into the rabbit a little bit as well. There we go. Right, now I can leave that to dry, um, but as you see, we've already got quite a strong feeling of a, of a, of a rabbit. Um, and I'll come back a little later and we'll put some more detail in. Okay, as you can see, I've put in a lot more dark areas here that we're gonna work over. Now there's a lot more dark areas here than is necessary, um, but uh, essentially when this is dry, we're painting the grass over these areas to give the idea of shadows and sh behind the grass so the grass has, has more feels like it sort of jumps out and so we have this kind of feeling of a, of a background and a foreground and this almost makes our middle ground area although there will be sort of some um, hints that I'm going to put in the background here that will do the same. The rabbit as you see um, I've worked on to put in the darker areas of it but as you see I've kept it very very loose and I've mixed up on the palette here the darker areas and then put the red and the yellow here so we sort of produce this kind of um, valley here between them that works out as a slightly less dark color but I'm not adding any white to that to make that 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 less dark color now I'm going to say uh, lighter color because we're not we're still using primaries here we aren't adding any white to it so it's not a, it's not a it's not so much a lighter color it's a less dark color uh, we can put those in here like this uh, I'm gonna work even though this is just because it brings a little bit if we get the just the just the colors just in there just so it's a bit more vibrant and while these colors aren't are always going to be natural they are going to be vibrant I'm also going to mix in a little bit of water now just so we've taken we've taken most of the paint off the brush and we're using the water to go over what we've painted here and this is the great thing about acrylics is while it's still wet we can still do this just mix in and blend the colours, okay, because I don't want it to be too harsh yet. So all the colours have just got to be sort of mixed in here and muddied a little bit. Now, like I've said sometimes, that can get out of hand if you if you go on for too long, uh, you can get the whole painting muddied, which is why it's a very good idea to take short breaks. I'm gonna leave some of these bits here like this take some more paint so I'm taking some fresh paint from the darker area here just because I want those those kind of angles behind to give the impression of of the darker grasses because well the grass is generally going to be bright quite bright see I'm even echoing the, that kind of almost blue here into the rabbit because we're never using black it's a good idea just to get those darker shades from colour and not from, from blackness. Okay, I think we've, we've, we're working here nicely. Once again, uh, I'll leave that to dry for a moment. Um, and um, I'll come back once it's dry and put in some more detail on the rabbit. Possibly even the grass, but uh, we may leave that for a little while longer still. Right. As you can see, I've worked on the, uh, the rabbit a little more. Uh, we've brought in some more um, lighter shades after we've after we put the darker areas in. See, I've put a sort of, a, a sort of orangey, almost orangey brown here on the uh, on the back and where the fur is, and 
plan to do is because there is such a lot of bright sunlight, I'm going to use this just pure white here just to bring out as if Effie's little fur is just catching the light. And we've got there, so just the edge of the edge of his fur is just brightly catching the the sunlight. Yeah. Using a pure pure white colour is can be a bit dangerous and a bit daunting, but I think it's it's working in this in this instant. Be a little bit careful. We don't want it to dominate too much, but I think I think we're okay. As you see, I'm using just a one-inch brush here. Now, obviously, this is still quite a large brush for what most people consider painting with. Um, I consider this to be a small brush, um, and you can use it in a number of ways when you're painting. If you're using it flat on, you get quite a large shape. If you just use the edge, or even just the corner, you get control, and it just saves me having to switch between um, different sized brushes constantly while I'm painting um, because it means I can fill in areas quickly. Here we go. Make that little dot in his eye a little brighter, I think. Right, now I'm going to leave that to dry again. And when I come back, I'll be working on this grass that uh, I hope will cut through the shadow here. And then we haven't got very much more to do. Maybe I'll work a little bit more on the, this background to sort of uh, take out maybe the darker area here, which I think is overpowering that. Uh, maybe do a little bit more on the fur. I don't know. I'm quite enjoying what it looks like at the moment. Um, but we'll see. I'll, see. I'll just leave it to dry for a bit and then come back and have a look at it later. Okay, all right, I think we're actually pretty much finished here. As you see, what I've done for the, the grass area is I've broken through that dark area that I had with lots of sort of random, mostly upwards, but occasionally across motions to give us the, the effect of some grass. And I've got them, those grass bits coming across the rabbits to give us an area thing and also because I'm, I always like to work with a sort of slightly abstract feel to it I'm bringing in some almost like cube areas for the background to give us a feeling of um, out of focusness almost so I don't want the, the the grass here to be too defined if I can so I'm just bringing across almost a wash over some of the areas might even take a little bit of dark bits here, just you know, just just echo into them, just so they, just so we dampen that that dark areas down a little bit, but not too much. Just a little touch. There we go. And maybe echo into here a little. There. Here we go. And I think we're finished. There we go. That's how um, I paint um, an abstract, well, semi-abstract realism uh, rabbit. We've taken the elements um, that we need to keep an image strong, uh, but as you see, uh, it's quite clearly um, painted in a very painterly style. So we can see it's a rabbit, but we can also we can also appreciate all the brush strokes and that our, eye put, our eyes are putting it together. And we get a very strong feeling of the rabbit. We haven't lost anything. It's there as much as it needs to be. And no more. I hope you've enjoyed my uh, little video on how to paint uh, a little bunny rabbit. And uh, if you'd like to see more of my paintings, please subscribe or just like the video. Uh, I always enjoy reading your comments, so please make one. Mm -hmm.